We are um, strawberry picking in Florida because it's that time of year. Today is February 23rd and is the very first day of strawberry picking here at Spivey Farms out in, I don't know. Is this Plant City? I, I don't know where this is. It's past Lakeland towards Tampa. Hey Siri, where am I right now? <laughs> Plant, Plant City. City. Wow, you were right. That's where like all those all the strawberries come from. Plant City. Did you know that? <laughs> all of them, the whole world, no. Um, so you pull in and they give you these little containers. Collected. So many. Yeah, and guess how much it is to fill one of these pints up. Okay, ready? Guess, guess, guess. $100. Tell them how much it is. How much is it? Fifty cents. Oh, I thought it was like a dollar. Fifty cents. 50. So we, we're going to pick strawberries right now. I'm going to show you guys these giant strawberries. Now, really some of them aren't ripe and some of them are rotten. Yeah. But, well, um... Look at the tiny strawberry. A what? So, like, I don't know if that's bad or not. So what you're supposed to do is you kind of hold the top and you pull oh, off the strawberry without damaging the actual... <gasps> look at that one in oh, there! I thought there was a bug. Oh Get that God. one right there. Can someone gas? That is huge! Bruh. Just don't damage the... Oh, it's off. Oh, is that okay? We cut that off. Yeah, we cut that off. Oh, there's one over there. So with strawberries, you gotta kind of move the leaves and find the nice ones. See, look at these strawberries. Some, like I said, are rotten and stuff. Like that okay. one. Whoa, look at so that. These, I don't really know if these are that ripe. Well, you gotta pick ripe ones. Look at that mega one, man. Too bad it's half rotted away. But, yeah, just lots and lots of strawberries. Oh, look at this one. And so, that actually looks absolutely perfect. So I'm going to Ooh. pop that one right off of there. Look, my first strawberry, it's so cute. Look. Oh my God, that's oh, so cute. Oh, look at this one. Oh, 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 it's kind of rotting, but see, you can just cut that off. We don't want to waste it, you know. We can just eat that one today. Oh, I can't even pick it off, it's so mushy. They say you can, um, I mean, some people eat them here in the field. I don't because you got to pay for them. Yeah, but you wanted dye from pesticides? Yeah, they use pesticides actually up until one week before the public strawberry picking is open. So these haven't had pesticides on them in a week. Can't like Menara said, they grew up with pesticides and they do have organic picking spots and stuff one. too. <laughs> I just went to grab this one here. See it? Here, grab that strawberry, Menara. No, it's I'm nice. Not grab it, it's nice. I, I, I went to grab it and the I whole saw. underside was had a hole in it and my fingers went in it. Look, what is this? That's a strawberry. Is it? Ah! There's Why little bugs. Look at her weird noises she makes. Here's what, one. What, what, what ah! would you make if you saw a bug? I just scream. That's all. I don't think there's too many bugs here. Yeah. You know. There's literally, they're on every single strawberry. Oh, well. Come on, you can't take forever trying to pick strawberries. I'm trying to find the good ones. How many strawberries you have, Zarius? Ah! Menorah. <laughs> they're like gnats. They're Let me see. Yeah, they're like gnats, they're, like they're fruit gnats. Oh yeah, those are nice. Let me wipe. I'll, 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 I want to wipe this off on you so you eat it. Okay. Uh, okay. Oh, wipe it off on me then. So what we're gonna do when we get home, what we did last time, was we basically have all you can eat strawberries for a day or two, just like eat strawberries all day long, and then uh, because you're not always just wash them until you're ready to use them, so we. We get strawberries we want to eat, we wash them, we eat them, and then when we're done eating them, we wash them all and I lay them on a pan and freeze them. I'm going to show you how later so when we get I, home. I'm actually going to I show you what I do with my strawberries. And this time I'd actually like to make strawberry jelly. So I'm going to show you that when we get home. Is that ripe enough to pick? Like, yeah, it's like fine. That? I mean, it'll be good for smoothies and stuff. Okay, we're back home. We got the strawberries. All these containers of strawberries. Four, one, two, three, four. We got five of these containers full. This one we left a lid off so we can get more in there. Mm, here's what the other ones look like. 
See that? All five of these containers were $11. Plus these we had, plus we probably ate about this many already. All $11. So what I do when I get home is I sort them. Um, the ones that are kind of smushed are gonna have to be eaten first. And normally I just like to put them in a single layer. So if you're gonna go strawberry picking, bring shallow boxes, not a lot of people are using like reusable bags and stuff, which they're gonna get totally mushy underneath there. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm going to, I'm going to find the ones that are not mushy or gross at all, and I'm gonna put those in the to eat later pile. And what we're gonna do right now, we're looking for a pile to eat now. So if you see ones with soft spots on them, you know, or ones that have gotten nicked or smushed or basically just kind of wet, those we're going to go into to eat now pile. That's the first thing you need to do with your strawberries is sort them to eat now and to eat later because we're going to eat all the to eat now ones we can possibly eat in the next day or two. And then we're going to freeze some for smoothies, which I'm gonna show you guys how I do that so they don't all, you know, freeze together in a giant lump. And I'm also, see look, that's a to eat now one right there. I'm also going to be making, this is my plan, I'm about to go to the store to get sugar, strawberry jelly to have for the kids' as peanut butter sandwiches and stuff. Oh my gosh, look at this one, oh that's pretty. Look at this one you guys, you ready for this? <laughs> Look at that. Look how weird that is. A little growth sticking out of it. But this one's, you know, got smushed on the container, so we're gonna eat that one first. Um, well, of course, we're gonna wash them. And uh, you're only supposed to wash the ones that you're about to eat because, you know, putting uh, once you put them in water, they kind of break down if they're not dried completely. And there's different options. I actually used to use like a fruit and vegetable wash, but they, you know, studies have shown that regular water or distilled water is just as effective at removing bacteria and like mold spores but a lot of people they use vinegar like one part vinegar to three parts water so three vinegar uh so one cup of vinegar and three cups of water and then rinse them and then dry them really well when you're done but i'm not going to do that because i don't want to mess up the taste of the strawberries i'm just going to hand rinse them and i'll show you guys that when we get to that part but i'm only going to hand rinse the two eat now ones um, we're going to rinse the other ones in a little bit when I'm ready to prepare them for the freezer and the, the jelly. Do you see all the strawberries that I have literally just gotten off top of this container? Okay, keep in mind, we have five of these container fulls and it was $11. $11 for all these. These are the strawberries I'm going to freeze to make smoothies with. And depending on your mixer, like if it's you know, not that high powered, you probably want to cut these strawberries in little pieces so it'll blend easier, you know, but we have like a KitchenAid one so it'll do these whole pieces. Um, I just leave mine, I cut off any bad spots, I leave mine whole. I take a paper towel and I just dab it, get the moisture off of it. This is also good to do if you want to put them in your fridge to last a lot longer. And then I put them on the cookie sheet like this. What you want to do is you want to, the strawberries to freeze without really touching each other like this, because if you were to put all these strawberries in a bag, like a gallon's buck freezer bag, and stick it in the freezer, when it comes time to just get a strawberry or two out, it's gonna be in a big cube, you know, a mess. So this way they'll freeze individually, then when they're done freezing, you take them out, you put them in a freezer bag, and then when you want one strawberry, two strawberries, three strawberries, you just get them out of your bag and they don't stick together. I do the same thing with bananas. I slice them then lay them on the tray, freeze them like that. So that's what I'm doing with these right now. I'm gonna put them in the freezer. Okay, here's my tray. It is full and ready. I'm gonna show them to you guys when they're frozen. You can also use plates. You could probably use wax paper. You can use plates. Anything that you can put in the freezer to lay them flat on. What I like to do is take wax paper and then put another layer, put a layer over the strawberries and then put them on there and then another layer of wax paper and put those on there so you can get a lot in the freezer at once. Okay, you guys. I. Got the strawberries out of the freezer and just look how beautiful they are. Perfectly frozen strawberries for smoothies. Mmm, don't they look nice? I'm gonna put them in a gallon freezer bag and uh, make some more. I went to the store and got wax paper, so I'm gonna show you guys how I layer it for later. I also got bananas I'm gonna freeze. But look at that. So now they're not in one big clump and you can easily just grab a couple of strawberries at a time to use. I'm gonna do my bananas now since I got bananas yesterday and they're really ripe. I just ate one and they're too ripe for me. <laughs> so I just peel the bananas. 
I don't care if there's some bruised spots on there because it's just going to be for smoothies. And I cut it into slices. Now, just like with the strawberries, if you have a blender that's not that high power, you, you could even make them smaller so it'll blend them up easy, easier, you know. But I'm just going to make regular slices. And then I, I have my same tray for my strawberries. I don't care if there's a little strawberry juice on it. I just lay them on the tray so they're not touching each other and um, until there's just, you know, the whole tray full of bananas that aren't touching each other. And then I put them in the freezer until they're frozen. And the cool thing about these is, well, I use them for smoothies, but another thing I use them for are dog treats because when this is frozen, it's this nice little frozen piece of banana and the dogs absolutely love it. So the bananas are done. I'm gonna use this. You can put wax paper in here, it'll make it easier to get off, but I'm just gonna use this metal spatula to get them off the pan. And look at this, frozen little piece of banana. Like I said, they make perfect um, dog treats. But I'm gonna get these and put them in the bag, and then I've been cutting all these strawberries. I'm just gonna cut them, wash them and cut them all because they're getting bad fast. And uh, I'm gonna freeze them. The uh, day after tomorrow, I'm gonna make jelly because I had to get a, a jelly thermometer, which isn't gonna be until Tuesday. So I'll make another video showing that. And uh, we're gonna eat a bunch of them. I guess I'll puree them now and put them in the fridge to make a jelly on Tuesday. But yeah, we're having fun with strawberries. There's tons of them. Nara's washing them, Zarius, and I am uh, cutting them all. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.